Hey guys, it is Tanya and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another speed build or apartment renovation. Today I am renovating 2B Jasmine Suites, which is an apartment in the Spice District of San Myshuno. I did go ahead and make this a one bedroom apartment and I tried to decorate it in the theme or style of country chic and more of a modern take on that. It's very white and minimal in here and there's a lot of like baskets and clutter and I just really like how this came out. I looked at a lot of reference pictures to get some ideas and it was just a really relaxing fun way to spend my night the other night when I built this. Uh, so this is actually one of those apartments that I couldn't get up from. One of those builds where you sit down and you do it all in one setting because you're having so much fun. I got lost in this. I was watching um, some streams over on Twitch. If you guys haven't checked out Gerb Sims over on Twitch, you really need to. I'm going to link her down below. I I'm almost always in her streams and she's absolutely fantastic so highly recommend and I'm, um, I often just watch streams while I record videos or edit videos and stuff so uh, it's a really good time. If you're not over on Twitch uh, you should you know hop over there there's lots of talented simmers. I also stream sometimes as well and it's just a really nice place to hang out right now. So anyway, uh, back to this build. Uh, the kitchen is coming together. I did use the fridge and stove that are from Jungle Adventure. I think they are some of my favorites in the game. I think Jungle Adventure is just a great pack all around though. But I did use a lot of different packs in this build. I didn't limit at all. I mean, in the kitchen, alone. The appliances are from Jungle Adventure, the countertops are from Parenthood, and the cabinets are from Base Game. And then that little side table in front of the sink is from Cats and Dogs. So, and I see some laundry day stuff, some cool kitchen stuff. I I, I went all out, but uh, sometimes it's nice to do that and just have a lot of fun with all of the options available for for you with all the packs. Uh, these lights I just hung up are from Tiny Living. I used them a couple of times in this build and I really like them. That is one of my favorite stuff packs at this point. I know th the pack is kind of mixed reviews. Some people really, really love it and other people were highly disappointed by it. I really like it for what it is. There's things I still would like in the tiny living department in the game, um, but the items that we got with it, I was very happy with. Um, so anyway, I also used this little, uh, I don't even know what to call it. It's like a dish rock that came with Jungle Adventure. I always forget it exists, but I really liked how it looked in this apartment. So I did go ahead and put that there. I just had fun with the decorations and making it look lived in and have a little bit more personality, even though it is a very neutral color scheme. Uh, so hopefully that came across. Uh, trying to remember to add a trash can. That is something I always forget in builds. Trash cans, mailboxes, fire alarms. Uh, what else? I think those are the main things I forget. But this house has a fire alarm, a trash can, it doesn't need a mailbox because it's an apartment and the mailbox is automatically in the hallway, which is great. Uh, but it has all the necessities, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I hope so. I'm uh, really bad at, or really good at forgetting things, I guess. I'm bad at remembering things that I need that are necessary in a build sometimes. Uh, but <laughs> usually I will remember to add things before I upload them to the gallery. Uh, speaking of which, I will put this up on the gallery. The thing with apartments is that they have to be uploaded as rooms. So I usually do a trick where I will delete walls and then place what like I won't connect the walls back. I'll draw a wall in the middle of the room and then duplicate it and put it in places so it doesn't count the rooms as rooms anymore. And then I can upload the entire apartment as one room. You're probably going to want to have move objects on if you do decide to download this, um, but it does place down into B Jasmine Suites and you can find it on the gallery if you search Griffey, which is my origin ID or the hashtag Miss Griffey. I will put that up as well and that will be in the description if you'd like to grab it from there or click on the link I provide to the gallery website if that's a little bit easier for you guys. Anyway, we are almost done with the kitchen space. I know I spent forever in here. I love building kitchens. They're my favorite part of houses, apartments. They're just so much fun for me to decorate. I don't know what it is, but uh, we're almost done with that. And we're going to be working on the dining space, which is actually still in the kitchen. I decided that worked really well for a more modern open apartment. So that's kind of what we did here. Uh, we're just getting our last couple decorations in the kitchen space. And I think we probably pop back and forth a couple different times to add decorations as I find them. I do that a lot in my builds. I'm like, oh, I forgot this thing existed. 
and I will go ahead and add extra things that I think would work later on when I'm not even working on that room anymore. Uh, but we are just about to finally put down our dining table. I was just decorating the little hallway with our doors over there, the doors to the bedroom and the bathroom. I thought that looked really nice with that archway. And then right in front of that archway is where we're going to have our dining table. So here that is. I think this is the one from Laundry Day. We have uh, three large tables like this in the game. We have the Laundry Day one. We have one from Jungle Adventure. And there's also one in base game that we got, I believe, with the Lunar New Year update last year. And they're both, uh, all three of them, <laughs> not both, there's three. Uh, they're all really nice, but I think for what I was going for, I really liked the laundry day one and it matched really well with these cats and dogs chairs. I also added this little shelf up there with a little bit of clutter. I think we add a painting and maybe a candle. And I just, I really liked how that looked, just a little bit of extra clutter. I, I really enjoy adding candles in my builds. It makes them look so much more cozy. Whereas in real life, I'm too paranoid to have candles places. If you have a cat or a dog or a rabbit or any animal that's just running around your house, candles are terrifying because you are so close at any moment to burning down your house. And I mean, in The Sims, that can't happen. I mean, you can set fires very, very easily in The Sims and it happens way more often in The Sims in real life, thankfully. Uh, but candles aren't really going to cause that in The Sims, which is good. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we're using this coffee table. Is this from Season? I feel like it's like matches the furniture style of cats and dogs, but I think it's from Seasons. And I thought it worked really well in here. Uh, it's so pretty. It's like a coffee table I would really enjoy in real life. So um, yeah, that, that's the coffee table I picked. Not much more to say about that. Uh, adding a couple of rugs, layering them in here, and I used these base game sofas. I almost used some from... Those, those ones I had a minute ago, I think they're from City Living. I'm not really sure, but I almost used those, but I thought it was a little bit too repetitive to have two couches that both have the same slant on the back. So I decided to go for these base game ones instead. And I'm pretty happy with that decision. I actually really like these couches. I know some people think they're like too boxy and they are pretty boxy. They are like basic base game, cheaper couches, but they're really realistic. I have basically that couch in real life in gray and I it. It's a really comfy couch. So I do enjoy using those in game and they're just really versatile. We need more basic furniture. I feel like a lot of the stuff in the game is way too stylized. And for the most part in this apartment, that was fine because I was going for a specific style, but those couches were perfect because they can just fit in anything. <laughs> they can be for any kind of house you are working on or apartment. Uh, but yeah, the living room is coming together here. Now I did add like a little footstool. We're changing out uh, this side piece in the kitchen here. I decided I wanted to use this one from Laundry Day instead of the Jungle Adventure table, but I think I brought the Jungle Adventure table in the bedroom, but then I swapped it out. I didn't end up using it, but I tried. I tried a couple of different times, uh, but we're finishing up the living room now, getting some more decorations. We have some pretty flowers in baskets. I also added a bike in here because I figured you're in the city. That's probably a good way to get around. I just grab that head outside. It's our only real transportation that's on land at this point in time. We can go on a boat or you can go on a bike, uh, but we still don't have cars. But in the city, I think a bike is a great idea anyway. So uh, I thought that would be a good addition to this apartment. And now we are on into the bedroom. I did make like a custom bed head out of some signs from cats and dogs this one right here and by bed head I meant headboard I don't know why but every time I do a voiceover and I mention a headboard I call it a bed head and then I think of having hair that's all messy because you just woke up and having bed head but that's not what I mean I mean th the thing behind your head in bed it's the headboard not the bed head anyway I don't know if anyone else has that issue but I feel like I do it in every single video where I make a custom headboard uh, but this is just made out of two signs from cats and dogs I thought it fit the style I was going for pretty well and I would love to have some more like on opposite side of those couches I like how simple those couches were that we used in the living room and I would like some more basic couches but I would like some more interesting styles of beds I just just need more beds in the game in general so it's kind of like the opposite problem in those areas we do have some nice basic beds and I'd like some more interesting beds but like still pretty versatile if that makes sense I don't want like over the top vampires beds and realm of magic beds those are really pretty and they work in certain instances but they're not very versatile but I do want more styles anyway I'm just really excited because they announced this week the roadmap for the next six months and we will be getting an expansion pack a game pack and a stuff pack I don't 
what order those are in. I'm assuming the expansion pack is going to be in the summer, like around June. And I can't wait to find out what it is. So <laughs> I'm just like, I need more content. Give me stylized stuff. I know everyone wants farming. And if we get that, we might get more of this style. And that would make me so happy. So uh, we'll see. I'm excited to get more items and do more builds. So let me know what packs you guys are interested in. I know the stuff pack is going to be the community voted stuff pack, which I'm very excited about. We're getting a knitting stuff pack, which is pretty cool. Um, but I'm just very excited about all the things that we could be getting in the next six months. And so, yeah, we're just decorating the bathroom now. It's pretty simple in here. I didn't go too over the top. I wanted it to just have your necessities, you know, your shower, your sink, your toilet. And uh, yeah, I think it's mostly base game or entirely base game other than the mirror, maybe. I'm not sure. Well, obviously the flooring is not base game either. I think the flooring I used in this apartment is from Island Living. And I think it looks really nice. And the black floor, I think, just looks so good. The tiles compared with all the white around it and, like, the light cream colors. I think the contrast there looks so nice. But anyway, we are coming to the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications to so be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all soon. Bye, everybody.